when I wear something one time, I don't know, I'm not sure if I want people to see me again with that specific item. Or if I do wear it multiple times and hang out with the same group, let's say at a party. I'm not taking pictures, I ain't putting it on Instagram, I'm not taking no selfie. That's just the way I am and I know many women who feel that same way. Hey guys! Hey guys, my name is Marinel. I'm a fashion stylist. Welcome or welcome back to a stylist tips and tricks. On this platform, we're all about sharing fashion tips, fashion tricks. This video is the continuation of our previous video in which we're talking about closet cleanup, closet purging, closet detox, call it however you want to call it. If you are watching this video first please don't the link of the first part will be in the description below in order for you to understand what we're doing you need to watch part one this video will be very short though it was all a lie guys it was all a lie she lied but I wanted to separate both videos because I believe that the first part was already a lot of work but now that you have your two pies which was a yes pie and the no slash maybe pie Let's continue purging your closet. Let's get to work. So still get your glass of champagne. Still get your glass of wine. Whether you're 18, 21 or over, I don't care. Just relax, lay back, play your favorite song. The PDF document will be in the description below. For now, I want you to listen to me talking. And then after that, pull up, just print it out or print it on the screen of your computer or phone or iPad and do everything one by one while listening to your favorite music. Please make sure that you watch part one first. Again, like I said, the link will be in the description below. But for now, now, uh, let's say, let's focus on the yes pile first. Let's focus on the pile that contains all the items that you had said yes to. Go ahead and take that trash bag, pull out all the items in that trash bag, and pick one item. For that one item, ask yourself, do I have something similar? If the answer is yes, you do have something similar. Um, think about, is there one that you wear more often than the other? The one that you wear more often than the other is the one that is going back inside the wardrobe and the one that you don't wear often that, I mean, you wear it but from time to time, but you already have something similar, so why keep it? It's just going to take too much space. Just think about this. Don't, don't put it in the no slash maybe pile yet. Think about this first. Can you do something else with it? Can you wear it any other way? Does it have to be used for what it was primarily bought for? If let's say it is a black pant and you have 500 other black pants, can you turn it into a short? If it is a white long sleeve t-shirt and you already have many, many white long sleeve t-shirts, then fine. Have a half sleeve t-shirt, have a no sleeve t-shirt. It does require you to do a little DIY. Be honest with yourself. If you're not good at it, then that's fine. Contact a friend that you're not good at it. Contact a family member or pay for a tailor. Just call someone that you know can actually help you. Now the next question is, are you ready to invest into doing this? Now if you're not ready to invest into doing this or you have too many items that you can actually use to do something else, example a t-shirt that you can turn into a scarf let's say, and put it in the no pile or the maybe pile, just, it's just good to go. If you do, are ready to invest though, then there's, you're gonna have a third pile, I'm sorry, that is the pile of the item that you have to fix in the next six months. If it is more than six months, then no, it's just gonna take too much space in your wardrobe, just no, move on to something else and put it in the no maybe pile. The second question that you need to ask yourself is, can you actually pair it with multiple items? Can you actually use it for two outfits, minimum two outfits. When I say that, people usually think that I'm only talking about can you pair that bottom with two other tops? Can you pair that top with two other bottom? Yes, but I'm also referring, I'm also talking about dress, I'm also talking about shoes, I'm also talking about your accessories. Can you wear that dress with two other pair of shoes, let's say, and when you wear it with one pair of shoes, it is more of an office dress. When you wear it with that other pair, it is more of a laid back, casual, sink I said type of dress, or same thing for accessories, same thing for bag. You also need to think about that because if it is something that you can only wear one time, like come on now. It's just no, it goes into the in, in the no maybe pie. And for us women, well, okay, I'm not speaking for all women, but for many women, and I am part of that group, when I wear something one time, I don't I'm not sure if I want people to see me again with that specific item. I said what I said! Or if I do wear it multiple times and hang out with the same group, let's say at a party. Let's say at, okay, let's just say at a party specifically, 
I'm not taking pictures. I ain't putting on Instagram. I'm not taking no selfie. That's just the way I am. And I know many women who feel that same way. If it is on office, uh, an, an office outfit, okay, yes, you can wear it multiple times. If you are familiar with that group of friends, okay, yes. But when it's a party, you don't usually like to wear your item multiple times, unfortunately, and I'm guilty of that. If you had answered yes to that, you can actually pair with it multiple things, then congratulations. It is going into the final pie and you now have a wardrobe full of items that you can get some good use out of, that you are comfortable, that you love, that you enjoy, that are a good fit, that represent the future you. You have a wardrobe full of things that you actually need. And yeah, you can now go ahead and focus on the second pie, which is the no maybe pie. Don't put the clothing back in your wardrobe now. Focus on the second pie first and then you do the rest later. When it comes to the no slash maybe pile, you are going to split in two and every items that are heavily damaged, heavily stained, heavily ripped, there is nothing that can be done. It is a done deal. Please put it in the no pile right away. Keyword heavily damaged, heavily stained, heavily ripped. I'm not talking about minor damages here. Just there is nothing that can be done. Now, I do advise you to Google if there is any businesses, any companies in your area that can actually take those items and use the textile, you use the fabric to do something else with it. There are many businesses that are actually doing this. If yes, donate it to them. If no, that's it, put it in the trash bag. Oh, use it with a towel to clean your house. There you go. You can also do that. If you still have any item left in the maybe pile, let's just go ahead and focus on that. If you have any item that has minor damages, they can be fixed, but you are not ready to invest, please don't donate it. I strongly advise people to donate items that are in very, very good condition. It's not fair. Why are you donating something that it is stained, it is ripped, it is like, and, and, and it cannot be fixed. Out of respect, just don't. If there is a minor damage and you actually want to donate it out of, out of the kindness of your heart, that's fine, but please fix it first. Please repair that button. Please just do something before donating it. Make sure that you always, always, always donate items that are in very, very, very good condition. Just please, out of the kindness of your heart for me, asking you this, don't donate any items that are ripped, damaged, stained, and there is nothing that can be done. It is not a minor thing. And even if it is a minor damage, make sure to fix it before you gift it to someone, please. Does this item have a sentimental value? Was it gifted by your boyfriend, your husband, your mom, your grandmother before she passed away, your daughter, your son, sister, brother, but it's just, it doesn't fit. It, there is no way that it can fit anymore, but it does have a sentimental value. So you, you're not really, you, you don't feel good just getting rid of it, donated it or gifted. I would say it is up to you, but you have two choices. The first choice, if it is something that means a lot to you, you just don't want to get rid of it, then fine, I understand, put it in a box, put it in a safe place, don't put it back in the wardrobe, it's just going to take too much space for no reason, find somewhere to place it and just hold on to it. I understand, I have many items from my grandmother that I'm holding on to that I'm just not ready to let go and they're all in a safe place, but if it is something that you can maybe hold on yes but to pass it on to someone later especially if it is a family gift you can pass it on to your brother to your sister or to your daughter to your son hold on hold it hold on to it to either never get rid of it or to hold on to it to gift it to someone pass it on to someone later in life everything else that you have that are left in the maybe pile you have only three options you can either gift it, donate it, or sell it. Now, let me explain sell it first. Well, we all know what that means. But what I would love to say when it comes to selling it is the best way will be to either put together a garage sale or to actually participate in a garage sale. Why? Because you can get rid of everything just one shot. Hopefully, everything will be bought in one day and you don't have to worry about having a big bag of clothes, of accessories in your house and they are huge and convenient. Just go to a garage sale, organize a garage sale. That is actually a good way. But there are other platforms where you can sell clothing. If that video is already out, I will definitely put the link in the description below. If not, I will put it later because it is coming soon. 
just keep an eye on the platform the second option like i said is donated like i mentioned earlier please don't donate any item that are damaged even if it is a small damage please don't do it when it comes to something that you want to gift be honest with that person be honest with your friend with your sister with your cousin whoever that you want to gift it to an acquaintance at work let them know hey i had this item for a very long time but it no longer fit unfortunately and i would love to gift it to you because it just doesn't fit unfortunately can you please go ahead and try it on and let me know if it's something that you like if it's something that you want to keep or if it's something that you don't want to keep then there you go donate it gift it or sell it i do advise you to try and see if you can sell it first because you know you want to make some money out of it everybody needs a little change especially during the pandemic if not the second option will be to gift it and the very very last option is to donate it so there you go guys all my tips to make sure that you have a closet full of items that you love that you enjoy that you are comfortable with and the items that you want to ditch what you can do with it i truly enjoy making this video i hope that you guys enjoy it i hope that you guys are satisfied with the result i hope that you guys are not too heartbroken because you had to get rid of many 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 items and i hope that it helps you declutter a little bit your wardrobe i truly truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to this channel and i will see you guys in another video